So you want to become a VTuber, huh? Well, it's actually not that complicated. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created my first 2D VTuber model within a week. If you want to become a VTuber, you are first going to need a couple of things. A good quality model, a decent computer, and a microphone. But today, we'll be focusing specifically on how to create and draw a 2D VTuber model. I get asked a lot about how I created my VTuber model or avatar, and a lot of times people expect my answer to be complex and something they wouldn't be capable of on their own. But in reality, I created my first VTuber model within a week, with very limited digital art skills and a crappy Wacom tablet. 2D VTuber models are often mistaken for 3D models because they are so well animated, but in fact, they are just a flat image cut up into a bunch of different parts. 3D VTuber models are a totally different process, and I will not be showing you how to make a 3D VTuber model in this video. It's all 2D here, baby! To create this model, you are going to need a program like Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, or GIMP. Whatever program you use, make sure it can export your work into PSD format. I also recommend that you have a character design or reference sheet done for your VTuber character before you begin working on your model. You can, of course, just wing it. But it's better if you already know what you want to look like ahead of time. Once you've picked your program, then sketch your model out fully. Recognize whether you're going to create a half-body model or a full-body model. And yes, half-body models are perfectly fine. My first model was a half-body model. Once you're happy with your sketch, it's time to start with actually creating your model. Figure out which parts will be moving individually from each other as you draw them, and keep them in separate layers. If you aren't sure if certain pieces need to be separated or not, it's best that you just separate them anyway. I use a lot of layers when I create models. Typically, I use a line art layer, color layer, and a shading layer for each piece and then I merge them together when the piece is done. However, this isn't a rule at all. Every artist has their own style and their own way of working, so do what works best with you. Typically when creating models, the symmetry tool is your best friend. Although you will be separating the parts between left and right, you can do that at any time. The key parts in your model should be head, hair front, hair back, torso, arms, clothing, iris, eye shine, eye whites, lashes, and mouth parts, and if you're doing a full body model, hands, waist, and legs. The face of your model is the most complicated part because it will move the most. Make sure you keep your eye whites, irises, eye shine, and lashes separate and do not merge them together. Mouth parts can be done in multiple ways. The easy way is to just draw an open and a closed mouth, but if you want better movement, here's a better way to do it. Any expressions, accessories, and other items should be made in different layers as well. Do not merge two parts together that you want to act separately. And of course, if you want your model's animation to be more complex, break up certain parts into more pieces so that they can move separately from each other. Now that you've finished creating your model and you are ready to export it, make sure that all the layers are separated between left and right, if needed, and are completely flat. There should be no folders, no effects on your layers, no hidden layers, and they should all be labeled clearly. Do not worry if it looks a little strange at this point. That can be fixed in the rigging process. Export this as a PSD and you've officially created your model. Now it's time for rigging, or the animation. The only program that I know of for animating VTuber models is Live2D Cubism. Thankfully, Live2D Cubism is a lengthy trial period for you to get to know the software without paying a cent. And that's exactly what I used to rig my original model. Now I have never bought the Live2D software and my rigging abilities are limited and rather rusty at this point. Live2D can be very intimidating and seem complex, but if you are diligent and adamant to not pay a cent for your model, like I did, you can certainly rig your model fairly well and fully functionally before the trial period ends, which I do recommend you try if you have the time to do. If you can't or don't want to rig your own model, you can always look for someone else who's more experienced and can do it for you. There are plenty of rigging artists on Twitter who will rig your model for a fee, and there's an entire Live2D community that will be willing to help you regardless of which path you decide to take. Once your model is done being rigged and exported, you can use a couple of different programs to simulate your model, including VTube Studio and PRP Live. Simply take the files needed from your exported model and import them into the program. Most programs work very similarly, but this is how you do it with VTube Studio, and this is how you do it with PRP Live. And boom, you're a ding dang VTuber. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to boop that like button on the nose and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content featuring me. 
I will be making more VTuber tutorials in the future if this one does well, so make sure to let me know how I did in the comments and share this with friends who might need it. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bug out!